Yeah, so big news. Um, U.S. dollar coin depegged. It is off the dollar. We, we've seen that with other ones, as is DAI. Nobody's talking about DAI for some reason, but DAI also depegged. U.S. Tether apparently did not. And the reason USDC depegged is that it is it is created by Circle. Circle um, had a major amount of money with uh, Silicon Valley Bank. Silicon Valley Bank collapsed as we know, and that has that has knocked the price out, as we just saw. So I think this is a really good breakdown. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so here's what we know, uh, USDC and IDPEG. Crypto firm Circle reveals 3.3 billion stuck in SVP. So that's what I was just talking about, that um, they have major exposure to Silicon Valley Bank. DAI USDC DPEG as stablecoin pressure continues after Silicon Valley Bank collapse. Now Binance and Coinbase both suspended USDC conversions to USDC, uh, apparently, or USD, excuse me. They are going to re-release these. At least Coinbase is going to allow it again on, mon on Monday when the banks are open. The main thing was that the banks are closed over the weekend. And so they would come in Monday with this huge backlog of, of conversions. So also, so besides Circle, BlockFi, and Avalanche were also hurt in this. US, Circle's USDC redemptions reaches 2.5 billion in 24 hours. That is a lot of billion. Uh, exchange inflow, 7 billion. On Saturday, March 11th, during Asian afternoon hours, died the decentralized stablecoin of MakerDAO revealed its lowest value ever of 88 cents, which as we saw, um, USDC also hit that. Now, it is working its way back up, so we will see. I think a lot of people are probably thinking that it might be a buy-the-dip opportunity. Nick Carter says the crackdown is operating chill point 2.0, a remnant from the Obama-era Justice Department policy. Twelve days ago, Gregory Becker, the CEO of Silicon Valley Bank, sold 11% of his shares. Well, that's interesting. And Tether, yeah, Tether, Stablecoin, USDT, surged momentarily on news. Otherwise, it is unaffected by SVP. Oh, I, I see. They're saying on the news it was unaffected. So very, very interesting. And I think it's interesting that we don't see. Now, I do want to point out that during during the Great Recession, during the financial crash, the there were a couple of banks that were allowed to collapse before, before the government stepped in. But it seems like they were, but still, you know, they did they did prevent a crisis by uh, by stepping in, by bailing out some of these banks, it doesn't appear that that is going to be the case for SVB. Apparently, apparently, this is. I don't want to be too conspiratorial, but given that, uh, given the government's generally anti-crypto stance that we've seen for the most part, kind of interesting that they're happy to just sort of stand, stay by the, stay by the side of the road and let this collapse happen. So I think that's really interesting. Let's see what you guys have to say, if anything. Christian says, what is going to be? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a little bit scary. It seems like it seems like we just keep getting hit with more and more bad crypto news as we go. So it's, it's a little bit frightening.